Hi! Today we are going to go over the pump fuse protection settings. Pump fuse protects your pump by turning it off when it detects an underload or overload situation. Your pump can have an underload scenario when it is dry running, and an overload, so working harder, when you have dirt in the impeller, for instance. A dry run can happen when the float switch is stuck or broken, so it doesn't turn off the pump when there is no water left in the pit. Dry runs can lead to pump burnout, as their built-in thermal protection is not enough to prevent motor burnout, as the thermal cycling keeps the pump running and then overheating over and over after each cool-down period. Now, how do I enable and disable pump protection on pump fuse? I just go to the menu on the top right, tap on pump protection. If it is disabled, I can tap on enable pump protection. Okay. To disable it, I go to the menu here from Pump Protection and tap on Disable Pump Protection. And then I need to confirm. From the menu, you can also subscribe and unsubscribe to Pump Failure Push Notification Alerts, so you will be notified if your pump stops because of an underload or overload situation. Just tap on Alert on Failure to turn notifications on or off. A check mark means that notifications are on. There are no sound alarms on pump fuse. You will receive push notification alerts on your mobile device, whether you are away from home or at home on your local Wi-Fi network. Now let's take a look into pump protection. Let's enable pump protection on our pump fuse. Now we see this message that the auto calibration mode is on. What is auto calibration? With the auto calibration mode on, pump fuse will evaluate your pump runs and automatically set the power usage parameters for what an underload or overload situation would be. Let's see how it works. Let's go back to my pump main window and turn on my pump. I can see that the numbers up here are in pink. This means that this is a training session for the auto calibration mode. A training run has to last at least 5 to 10 seconds minimum. If it lasts for 40 seconds or longer, pump fuse will automatically fish, finish the training and switch to protection mode without stopping the pump, unless a failure condition is detected. This makes pump fuse a truly plug and play device. It is recommended to run auto calibration on or after a pump's third full cycle so that all the pipes are wet. Otherwise, the auto calibration mode might choose the wrong range of values. Going back to my pump protection, I can see the auto calibration values on this chart. Because auto calibration is not perfect, users are allowed to override it. With the auto calibration mode off, I will be able to set up these values manually. Let's take a look at the value set up by auto calibration. If we take a look at this chart, we will see that it shows me a mean value then a nasty value. Mean represents how many watts our pump used while it was running smoothly. SD stands for standard deviation. The low trip and high trip points will be set up based on the mean power usage minus or plus 10% respectively. So in this case, pump fuse will block power to the pump if it uses less than 59 or more than 72 watts. We also want to set up low and high trip delays in order to avoid false triggering. The standard set during auto calibration is 5 seconds, meaning that the pump run will only be interrupted if the trip point is broken for that duration or longer. However, there are periods during a run where high power usage is expected, namely in the beginning of a run, as we can see by this spike early in the chart. And this is why we have the startup delay. So any values over the low or high trip points will be ignored during pump startup. The standard setting is 2 seconds. To set up values manually, move this toggle switch to the off position and edit the numbers in the respective boxes. Click save when done. Let's now take a look at a couple of pump runs to see how their graphs look like with and without pump protection. This is a normal run. You can see the initial spike in load, then the pump running smoothly, and the power down at the end of the cycle. 
The green area marks the range between the low trip and the high trip points. So this shows you that this cycle was protected by pump fuse settings. You can also see the two second mark where the initial spike in power usage is expected. Let's see a graph from two days ago when I didn't have the protection. You can see that here there are none of the protection parameters, no green safe running area, and also no initial two second mark. Now let's see a graph where the pump stopped because of an overload. You can see here that everything was going to plan until 22 seconds when we had a spike that lasted until pump fuse cut the power supply to the pump at 27 seconds. So the overload lasted for the 5 seconds we set up in the protection parameters. Note that the mean and standard deviation parameters were quite different from what we saw in the auto calibration run because the power spike skewed the results. The time information on runs will only show for pump runs on the current day. For past day information, only the date is shown on the main screen. To see time information, open up the run chart. On the main screen, you are able to see run history with the last 20 records limited to the past seven days. So the history will be automatically cut short over time. To clear your history, go to Menu, Clear History. In the pump protection settings, you will also find auto reset information. What is auto reset? It is a safety feature on pump fuse that automatically restores power to the pump in case of a high or low trip. We have it in place so the power to the pump is not permanently interrupted due to failures happening at a critical time. For instance, a spike during a storm, and the equipment has a chance to recover its functionality. The standard auto reset time is 60 seconds. To disable auto reset, set the time to zero. Warning, disabling auto reset will permanently shut off the pump until a manual reset is performed. The manual reset can only be done by pressing the button on the pump fuse equipment or via the app button that is only available if you are connected to your home Wi-Fi. If you leave on vacation, it is a good idea to enable auto reset because you cannot click on the reset button anywhere if you are not connected to your home Wi-Fi. So, in this video we saw what is the pump fuse protection, how to enable and disable protection, how to subscribe to push notifications, how to auto calibrate pump fuse and how to set up protection parameters manually, how a normal pump run graph looks like and how a pump failure graph looks like, why and how to set up auto reset. If you have any questions, please email us at sales at pumpfuse.com.